China is building a dam taller than a 100-story skyscraper. They plan to double a space station orbiting Earth with giant new modules launched through zero gravity. Fresh airports will pop up on man-made islands in the sea. Solar farms the size of big cities will cover 230 square miles of desert, and much more, all in just 2026. Yes, you heard that right, and it shouldn't shock you, because it's China. They're also building a nuclear reactor, which will not only shock you, but the whole world. We'll dive into that jaw-dropper later. While most countries spend decades begging for permission to build one of these, China just gets it done before breakfast. America patches the same old bridges year after year, while Europe chats endlessly about ideas. China skips the talk and just builds giants. Get ready to feel the shake. China's 2026 mega projects will redefine what's possible. Number 1. Tiangong Space Station Expansion China plans to double their Tiangong space station from three modules to six giant ones circling Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, creating the world's biggest orbital base, just as NASA's creaky International Space Station, 30 years old and falling apart, plans to crash into the ocean for good by 2030. Up in space right now, Chinese astronauts upgrade the core Tianhe module with spacewalks, bolting on extra living quarters, science labs, and a super flexible robot arm called the Chin Arm that grabs supply ships and moves experiments around like a giant hand, working through radiation blasts and minus 200 degree chills. New Mengzhou spaceships will carry seven astronauts at once for long moon mission rehearsals and 24-7 research on everything from new medicines to space crops, turning low Earth orbit into China's permanent science playground. This brand new China National Space Laboratory mainly consists of the Tianhe Core Module, Wentian and Mengtian Lab Modules. While America focuses on flashy, one-time Artemis moonshots that cost 20 billion each. The expansion includes advanced life support systems that recycle 98% of water and oxygen, allowing crews to stay aloft for six months straight without resupply. Independence that makes Tiangong truly self-sufficient compared to the ISS, which needs constant cargo runs from Earth. Building in zero gravity means every piece launches perfect from Earth, or it floats lost forever. One tiny mistake and years of work vanish. But China nails robotic docking and bolt tightening with precision measured in millimeters, planning for decades of non-stop operations when NASA's commercial station dreams won't even launch till 2028. This isn't a tourist stunt. Tiangong becomes a factory for space tech that feeds back to Earth, from testing materials that withstand cosmic radiation to growing protein crystals for breakthrough medicines impossible to create under gravity's pull, proving China owns the sky while others chase temporary visits. Number 2. Shuangjiangkou Dam Deep in earthquake-prone Sichuan, China, builds the Shuangjiangkou Dam to 315 meters tall, higher than a 100-story skyscraper and every other dam ever made. Using a special rock-fill design that flexes like rubber during massive quakes instead of exploding like America's rigid Hoover Dam would. Over 10 years and 36 billion yuan, workers excavated mountains of rock, diverted wild rivers through tunnels big enough to swallow subway trains, and poured concrete carefully cooled with embedded pipes pumping ice water to avoid cracks from heat buildup, creating a giant reservoir that stores floodwaters from rainy seasons to guarantee two gigawatts of power through droughts that recently blacked out factories across China. The dam's foundation drills 70 meters into bedrock fractured by ancient earthquakes, anchored with steel cables thick as tree trunks that keep the whole structure from sliding during the next big shake. Engineers installed over 3,000 sensors monitoring every vibration, pressure shift, and water seepage, feeding real-time data to AI systems that predict problems months before human eyes spot trouble. 
This beast cuts 7 million tons of carbon smoke yearly while stabilizing power for millions of homes and controlling floods that once wiped out entire villages downstream every few years. America's last big dams, like Glen Canyon, finished decades ago amid endless green lawsuits. And Europe quit them entirely over river protests. China tames the raging Dadu River in seismic hell where no Western firm would touch the risk, turning nature's fury into reliable juice that keeps industries humming when rains fail everywhere else. The reservoir also creates new fishing grounds and tourism spots that pump money into impoverished mountain communities forgotten by coastal boom times. Number 3. Linglong – One Nuclear Reactor Here's the world-shocking nuclear jaw-dropper. China flips on Linglong-1 in 2026, the first commercial small modular reactor ever built from factory-made parts snapped together on Hainan Island in just five years flat. While America's new-scale SMR sat on paper for 15 years before shrinking plans, and Europe's Rolls-Royce design won't even test till 2030. This 125-megawatt mini-giant powers remote islands, factories, and weak grid towns with passive safety smarts. Physics automatically cools and shuts it down if pumps fail, no human rushing in like Fukushima panic, delivering electricity, heat, or even desalinated seawater that massive traditional plants ignore. The reactor core sits inside a pool deep underground, surrounded by water that naturally absorbs heat without electricity or pumps. Gravity and thermodynamics do the work, even if every system crashes and workers evacuate. Components built in factories achieve quality impossible at messy construction sites where weather delays and human error plague traditional nuclear builds. West burned 35 billion on Georgia's Vogel mega reactor seven years late while canceling others. China mass produces these Lego blocks ready for export to poor nations craving clean power without decade waits. Linglong proves nuclear for everyone, not just rich countries with endless red tape. Southeast Asian islands, African mining towns, and Arctic research bases suddenly get access to reliable, carbon-free power without building giant plants that take 20 years and need armies of specialists. This democratization of nuclear energy could save developing nations from fossil fuel dependency, cutting global emissions while boosting economies starving for electricity. Number 4. CR450 High-Speed Train China's CR450 train hits 450 kilometers per hour, 280 miles per hour, in commercial service through mountains, with a needle-nose slicing air resistance and lighter bodies made from carbon fiber composites for super acceleration that shrinks 1,500 kilometer journeys from overnight sleepers to same day business trips, while France's TGV tops 320 kilometers per hour on flat, easy routes, and Japan's Shinkansen rarely passes 320. Engineers redesigned brakes using electromagnetic systems that work even when wheels fail. Vibration controls with active suspension reading track bumps milliseconds ahead, and power systems drawing 22 megawatts for stability at speeds that make air pressure a structural beast, not just noisy. Already running 350 km per hour trains daily, carrying millions, while America debates 200 mile per hour Acela upgrades, costing billions for tiny track bits. The train's aerodynamic shell reduces drag by 30% compared to older models, and pressure-sealed cabins keep passenger ears from popping during high-speed tunnel blasts. This beast replaces flights on busy corridors like Beijing to Shanghai, cuts oil imports that drain foreign reserves, and welds distant factories into one economy where parts made in Chengdu reach coastal ports same morning. China builds rail networks longer than the rest of Earth combined, while Europe patches old lines. Business travelers save time, cargo reaches markets fresher, and cities once considered backwaters suddenly sit three hours from megahubs, spreading wealth inland away from overcrowded coasts. Number 5. Guangzhou Pearl River Delta New Airport 
China greenlights a whole new Guangzhou airport from bare Foshan dirt with 400 billion yuan. Four runways targeting 60 million passengers and 2 million tons cargo by 2050 to steal Hong Kong's throne. While London's Heathrow fights 20-year expansion battles over one runway, and New York's JFK crawls through terminal patches amid noise wars. Current Baiyun Airport adds a fifth runway for 63 million flyers, with face scans and AI scheduling that slash delays to industry-low 15 minutes average. America's Gateway Project at Newark stalls in lawsuits, while Berlin's airport took 14 years and double budget for basic fixes. The new airport connects directly to high-speed rail lines, subways, and river ferries, creating seamless transfers where passengers flow from train to plane in 10 minutes without leaving the building. Automated baggage systems track every suitcase with RFID chips. Cargo drones shuttle freight between terminals, and electric ground vehicles eliminate diesel fumes choking workers. Pearl River factories explode with takeoff space as Guangdong morphs into Trade King. No city crunches or protests, just fresh land and highways feeding endless flights that tie southern China to every continent in hours. Number 6. Lhasan Yingqi, Tibetan Plateau Rail China slices 101 kilometers of high-speed rail through 5,000-meter Tibetan peaks, where air chokes workers needing oxygen masks, avalanches loom daily, and fault lines shift without warning shrinking two-day road crawls to one-hour express rides that flood remote monasteries with tourists and goods, while Switzerland's Alpine trains creep at 60 miles per hour on tourist routes, and America's Amtrak skips mountains entirely. Pressurized cars with extra oxygen keep passengers comfortable, despite thin air that normally causes altitude sickness, and heated tracks prevent ice buildup that would derail trains in winter. Freezing tunnels and quake-proof bridges conquer the world's roof, where engineering textbooks say fast rail can't breathe. India dreams of Himalayan links, but stalls on land fights with villages and environmental groups blocking every proposal. This lifeline electrifies Tibet overnight, bringing fresh food, medical supplies, and economic opportunity to herders and farmers isolated for centuries, proving China builds where oxygen fails. Tourism revenues jump as visitors who once feared the dangerous drive now zip safely through spectacular gorges, and local products reach mainland markets while still fresh. Number 7. Desert Solar Wind Megabases China's western deserts birth 230 square miles of solar panels and wind turbines, adding 200 gigawatts in 2026. More clean power than Germany's entire green system, with mega batteries bridging day-night gaps and 1,100 kilovolt cables hauling juice 1,860 miles to cities, losing almost nothing to transmission losses, while California's desert solar fights local protests about endangered tortoises and transmission blocks for years. Full systems sync with hydro and nukes to kill coal early, powering electric car booms and data centers. America scrambles to electrify. Europe adds gigawatts yearly, while China dumps that much in months. Robotic cleaners sweep panels automatically, AI adjusts turbine angles to catch shifting winds, and massive molten salt storage tanks hold heat for 12 hours after sunset, keeping power flowing when darkness falls. These installations employ thousands in remote regions where jobs barely existed, transforming empty wastes into productive economic zones. The clean electricity prevents 150 million tons of carbon emissions yearly, while proving renewables can power industrial civilization without fossil fuel backup. Number 8. Ningbo Zhoushan Port Expansion Ningbo Zhoushan, already Earth's busiest port, moving over 1.2 billion tons yearly, stacks automated deep berths for ships longer than four football fields, robot cranes that never sleep or strike, and rail spurs blasting Yangtze goods to sea for billions daily without weight, handling four million containers more than Los Angeles and Long Beach combined, while Rotterdam debates automation, fearing union jobs vanish. 
Digital brains optimize every move from factory to ocean, predicting delays and rerouting cargo faster than human dispatchers blink. America's port strikes halt trade flows yearly, causing inflation spikes, while China prints cash non-stop through uninterrupted operations. Number 9. Xiamen Gaochi Airport Sea Expansion Xiamen Gaochi balloons to 75 million passengers on four ocean-edge runways with 55 billion yuan investment, highways diving straight to terminals opposite Taiwan, smoothing cross-strait trade and tourism, while Tokyo's Haneda battles land limits hemmed by city sprawl, and London's Gatwick squeezes one runway max. Phase 2 hits 2026, with expanded cargo facilities burying rivals. No seawalls needed, just waves and flow controlled by smart engineering. Number 10. Xi'an East Mega Railway Station Xi'an East explodes as a high-speed megahub, swallowing millions daily through 22-kilometer tunnels, boring under rivers and ancient burial grounds. 32 billion yuan fusing subways to CR450 depots, where trains arrive every three minutes at peak, dwarfing New York's Penn Station chaos, where delays stack hourly, while Paris debates platform fixes for years. Inland Anchor pulls wealth from coasts fast, making interior cities competitive with Shanghai and Shenzhen for business investment and talent. China launches these together in 2026. Not single wins, but systems tying a billion people tight through integrated infrastructure networks where airports feed trains, dams power factories, and ports ship everything everywhere fast. Others talk permits and studies, while budgets balloon. China builds worlds that reshape economies before critics finish first draft complaints. So, where are you watching from? And which project shocks you the most? Drop your country in the comments and tell us your favorite. Is it space, dam, nuclear, train, or solar? Be honest. Could your nation actually pull off even one of these in 2026? Smash that subscribe button because this is just the beginning and you won't want to miss what China builds next.